Good morning. It is June the 30th at 9.30 a.m. This is 2022. Um, we are, this is the South Carolina Commission on Disabilities and Special Needs. This is a special called commission meeting. Um, the agenda today, while the staff is at um, the headquarters in Columbia, we are, most of the commissioners are at our homes on um, teams doing this meeting. I'm going to call this meeting to order. Commissioner Blackwood, do you have a notice of meeting statement with you? Yes, I do. Would you mind reading that, please? Sure. A meeting notice announcing the date, time, and place of the June 30th, 2022 special call meeting, commission meeting, was distributed on June 29th, 2022 to appropriate media and other groups or individuals who have requested notification. The announcement and agenda were posted at the Department of Disabilities and Special Needs Central Administrative Office and on the website. Americans with Disabilities Act. The public has been notified that accommodations such as interpreters, mobility assistance, or other assistance will be provided to individuals with disabilities and special needs if requested in advance. Thank you, Commissioner Blackwood. Um, yeah. As is in, in accordance with our, with our um, bylaws, we have next the adoption of the agenda. As you can see, it is a very limited agenda, limited only to the fiscal approval um, financial approval for fiscal year 2022 contracts over 200,000. Um, I need a motion from the floor to um, approve the agenda as written. So move, Mary Melfors. I have a mo motion from Barry. Yeah, Stephanie, I was just going to say that it's actually fiscal year 23. I'm contracts. sorry. It's okay. I just wanted that. Clarification. Thank you, Robert, Robert. for the record. I read it 22. Please forgive me. Okay. All right, I have a motion, do I have a second? Second. Okay, a motion and a second to approve the contract as written. Um, let's move forward with then um, the agenda. I'm gonna turn this over to Dr. Fry, our executive director, who will um, send us in the direction of her staff to handle this. Sure, uh, good morning, commissioners. Thank you for your time this morning. Uh, we have, um, uh, you've all been presented with the document that also has been posted that, um, describes ongoing annual contracts um, that it we, we bring to the commission each year. Um, they are the same contracts that have been approved previously by the commission. We've provided you with the fiscal year 22 amount compared to the fiscal year 23 amounts. Uh, any variation is uh, is related to the number of individuals served. I will highlight to you that two of those contracts um, are newly uh, triggering the two hundred thousand dollar requirement versus the uh, same repeat contracts that we bring to you each year. Uh, one of those is the respite coalition. Um, uh, it has increased due to the volume of caregivers and um, will increase over the $200,000 threshold. And then also um, the Center for Disability Resources, uh, that contract we have brought to, we brought to the commission in March, but we, wanna get, we wanted to go ahead and bring it today um, for, in order to be comprehensive. And that is because we have amended that contract to include the positive behavioral supports training that we discussed in March. Okay. Did I see commissioner? Okay. Uh, director. All right. Um, commissioners, I see you all have had time to look at this. Was there any questions regarding this matter? Commissioner Malmers, do you have a question? You got to turn your volume on. We can't hear you, Barry. There you sorry, go. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. I have I have a couple of quick questions. One is um the and I'm going to use these couple as an example. The um the Palmetto Psychiatric Psychiatry con, Consultants contract and the for example for another example the um Special Olympics contract. Is it a is that a multi-year contract that we're just approving? Sorry. 
that we're approving another year of, or is it, are we approving these annually? Yes, um, thank you for the opportunity to speak to that. We do, these have, these are one year contracts. I will say that um, I will recommend at another time to make these multi year contracts, but historically it appears that we have always done these as a one year contract and brought them to the commission. I don't know why. My recommendation would be to extend those consistent with what's allowable um, under state procurement processes and rules. Um, but these are one year contracts. Um, and then with uh, Dr. Rayleigh, um, we did amend that to include some services that we have also brought to the commission, added the um, participation in the ITAC, um, as well as his outreach work that he will be doing on behalf of DDSN with medical residency programs for psych um, psychiatric residents. So, uh, but those are one-year contracts, and what we've done is uh, expanded that to include services that we have previously brought to the commission. Does that answer your question, Mary? Yeah, it means that, um, I mean, personally, I like the idea of one-year contracts because we could change yeah. the dollar value on a contract from year to year. Um, and you could, what's called, and and I would consider in one of these cases, but I don't, I don't have to necessarily, I don't know if we want to get into it today, but in one of these cases, I would consider reallocating some of the money from one to another. Um, because I just think some, I just think some contracts are more important than others. Not, not obviously not Babcock Center and not, um, not the psychiatric Palmetto. But I could get into another one. But I, I guess in the interest of this year being this year, I would just say that next that when this is discussed again, I'm assuming through the finance committee next that we would reconsider. Um, reconsider um, some of the, the dollar values, particularly on the Special Olympics, and maybe move that to somebody else, some of that money to somebody else. And, uh, if I may speak to that also, um, the legislature has determined that DDSN is the appropriate pass-through entity. Um, and so they've actually earmarked monies for South Carolina Special Olympics to come through DDSN. So it's, it's really a decision that has come from the, the South Carolina legislature that, that we passed through to, to the Special Olympics. So Michelle, are there any others on this list of contracts that the legislature has, has earmarked besides Special Olympics? Uh, yes, the Greenwood Genetic Center uh, okay. is also allocated uh, via the legislature to come to DDSN as the pass-through agency. Okay, good to know. All right. Yeah. All right. Any well, other that, questions? That probably on, the next time that kind of any of those of those contracts probably needs to be marked that way. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. All right. Because that makes it, that makes us just literally pass through, so we really can't say anything. <laughs> yep. Go ahead. Anything else? I don't any know. Evan. Yeah. Do other questions? Ed, Robin? Um, who monitors the deliverables on these contracts? Are they different departments, different people, depending on what the contract is for? Like how, how is that monitored or how are deliverables evaluated? Year, year sure. Year? Yeah, so um, it depends, of course, on what the particular contract and service is and then where that fits within the agency. So, for example, um, Dr. Davis is not with us today because she is actually traveling to Greenwood Genetics Center because as chief administrative officer um, and given her background uh, and that she's over data and analytics, we uh, believe that she is the appropriate uh, executive team member to uh, oversee the implementation and compliance of that contract. So she is spending today up there. 
Um, whereas when it comes to the work of ICFs, there are really a couple of different individuals that touch that work. So you have quality uh, that um, falls falls within our CAO, but also the, some of the ICF work uh, falls under Janet. Uh, so it depends on which component because that's uh, complex. And um, and then uh, respite. I'm looking at Lori. You all can't see that I'm looking at her, but I am. So it just depends on the contract. But each person, it depend, um, we've been working on contract procedures here at the agency. And, um, and and I know that some of us have had conversations about that. But um, now, essentially, each contract has to be blessed by legal, the program area, and finance. The program area is the area that we have determined is the appropriate uh, executive program area um, to do that monitoring uh, and, and ensure that the contract is drafted in a way that uh, achieves its aim. Okay, thank you for that. <clears throat> okay, further questions? All right, commissioners, I you have a chance to review these. Um, how um, Commissioner, I mean, Executive uh, Director, do you prefer that we approve them individually or as a group? I would recommend, I mean, if, if, uh, if, if I would recommend that if, that if there's no discuss, additional discussion, that you do one motion and recommend them all, you uh, could take, uh, um, uh, recommend to uh, approve the, the staff recommendation for all of them, but it's really whatever your your preference all right. is. All right, commissioners, how do I have a motion on the floor for which way it wants to go? Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to um, approve these DDSN staff recommendations for the fiscal year 23 contracts as detailed um, in our um, handout that was provided to us, which include contracts for Babcock Center, Charles Lee Center, South Carolina Respite Coalition, Special Olympics, USC training programs for attendant care, USC Center for Disability Resources, Greenwood Genetics, and Palmetto Psychiatry Consultants. Okay, I have a motion. Do I have a second? I have a second. Oh, we have a second. Can I have a second? Sure. I we just want to say. We have a motion to second, and this is further discussion. I just want to say that I would like the minutes to reflect the the the, the, the contracts and the amounts of each contract for this year that's that's in the minutes of this meeting. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, all right. Um, we have a motion and a second before any further discussion. Hearing none. Uh, wait, did I hear something? Okay. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries, and these contracts are approved for fiscal year 23. Um, I'd like to thank the commissioners for being here today. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So move. We adjourn. Second. Second from Robin. All right. Thank you all for being here. We stand in adjournment.